Oh, they're such noisy things, those voices. Are they going to get upset because we're getting near? Can you see any rocks? Can you keep your eye open for rocks, please? Because I can't see them until they're, we're on them. I don't think there's any here, but there's always one we can miss. <laughs> This fishing here or something, not see it. Oh, that's sand deals. Right, we're going. We're going in with the with the um, oars. Stealthy. Because um, it's very shallow here. We decided to just come in and check the pot now while the tide's down. But we don't want to bring the big boat in because this weed. This is this Asian uh, weed that's started turning up around the islands over the last few years, and it's terrible stuff. It grows really long and clogs up everything so or your engines and things anyway you can see we put this quite close to shore there's the shore right there probably looks further away to you to us it's about 20 feet that'd be about 20 feet yeah not well from this point here yeah yeah 10 feet 20 feet any closer we're doing on land but we know the tides are getting smaller so this is the pocket pot and uh yeah, we thought we'd stop by. We're going out today fishing. Look at that weather out there. I mean, look at it. It is so calm. Oh, it's over that way. You can see it. Look down there, the rope. Let me turn around. If you pull it slowly, it'll pull the boat over there away from the, the shore. But there's the shore. Shore's about now about eight feet from us, I suppose. Ten feet, eight feet, something like that. So we did get this post pot pretty close, but I wanted it here. And we put it here, this will work once or twice a year that you would catch in here, but once you've caught, you don't tend to catch much more. We have caught once, so hoping for a second catch, then that's probably it for here for at least a few months, because you don't keep catching these sort of little close in areas if you already have caught. Only little ones, maybe. That you put back. There you go. Nothing at all. That shows. Like I said, we did catch in here the last time a nice one, so wasn't expecting to see another one. Not straight away. And it's still baiting there, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Dog whelks think so. Right, we're just going to get this sorted out, and then we're going to go over to the boat. At least it's calmer than yesterday. Shoal of fish, so we're going to see if it's bass. It's just over there. It'll only be small, probably, but they're over there as well. Yeah, they're everywhere. That was about that. I think they're bass, don't you? Yep. I just said they'd be small, though. How cool was that? You just try and this is a new lure I just put on as well. So. Here's off. Oh, I love that new lure. Eh? I love the colour of that out. lure. You're going to own my lure. <laughs> We've got our own oh, my lure. <laughs> <laughs> and now <how> this goes. <laughs> That's a lovely little trail, this one. Slightly different from the other ones we got. The way that fish came up at it though, that was brilliant. I know, well, it's that dawn thing, isn't it? Yeah. They're on the feed. What we want is the um, is a, a big one to come up. But yeah. I don't think they'll be. I think it's all little tiny schoolies. It's been like that all year. All we've caught a small schoolie. I don't think we've had one fish that's passed about I don't know thirty cent something centimeters. All tiddlers. That one fish might have driven off the others with the. It's so calm when you get one that bolts or splashes and goes crazy. Mm. You can actually look right there. Yeah. There's a fish there. There was one following it. Yeah, there's, there's one they're there. still yeah. there. I see them. Yeah, I see them. Right over there, exactly there. Yep. <laughs> see the way I stopped it. Just to... They're 
all excited, aren't they? It's too calm as well, though. They see they can get a good look at it. You see, if it was a bit choppy, they'd be all over mm. it. But because of the calmness, give it one more try then. That was a little bit bigger. That one actually. They're all over one. there. Look, I, I can know, see I them. Look quite small. Look at the tail flips as they come up. Mm. Sometimes you'll get big ones around the outer edge. We'll go left and try over there. You never know. Sometimes you get a big Actually, one. I've just seen one flip. It was a bit bigger than that. What, about there? Yeah, about there. There's one behind you, yeah. Up or it does seem to be, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's just, going deeper. That's why it flipped around like that. That's the only trouble with these lures, they do snag up quite a lot. The thing is, that little fish, that this is still quite a biggest little lure for those fish. Small one, this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's smaller than the last one. Look at him as he comes in. Look, look how small it is. Look at it. give it a couple more paths and then we're on our way there's no point staying here for this this is it's, it's a little bit of fun but it's not the size fish we really want to catch i just want to see if there was uh, any bigger ones you know two three pounder lurking around there but even an eight would be good <laughs> i have caught an eight just over there an eight would eat that one for breakfast that you've just caught i was doing this one morning over there but with a live sun you're just towing it mm. casting it towing it and an eight pound mouth just engulfed it I had some others as well, sort of three and fours. So that was like the eight amongst the three and fours. So. There's a big one here. Mm. That was a quiet move then. That probably is a bigger one there. Yeah, they're rippling all over the place. When you get the quiet ones, that's the bigger ones usually. Yeah. The big, little ones always Tr slap around and splash, the big everything. ones swirl. That's a little You see the way it splatters? Yeah. That's little ones. Big ones tend to be a bit more... Well, they'll whoosh if they do make a noise. I'm going to go to the side because I'm going to big ones on the left. Quite often the big ones are on the outer edge of the pack of smaller ones. That's what I've always found in the past. But... Should we just go straight to the middle of that? Yeah, do it. Do it. We're going straight to the middle. Over the back. And straight through. Oh, one out of the pocket is straight away. There's one behind it, you know, he's looking at it, Gary. What is that? I saw a bit of silver to the back right of it. Oh, I'm going to throw it out before we get too close to the boat so we don't spook the fish. <laughs> That's tiny, you see it? Like, I saw the whole fish flip over it. Putting up a heck of a fight for a little fish, though. Don't want to disturb them too much, anyway. Wouldn't be surprised if a whole load followed him in, because they usually do. Yeah, they do. Keep an eye. It's a bit bigger, this one, actually. Surprising, I thought that was tiny, but it's actually a little bit bigger, I believe. I'm not going to break any records, but... For this year, it's not bad. <laughs> I'm glad I'm trying to shake it out and it works. Mm. Right, let's go. Let's get out to sea and get some fishing, some other kind of fishing done. Well, we are out at 
see. And we're doing these pots first because it's a nice calm day to be pulling pots. But we haven't done these for a couple of days, so we're going to check them today before we go somewhere else and do something else. Right. Two days. Can we have caught anything? glove on while we wait for the first pot it's coming okay, I've got it looks very empty oh, it runs always a problem there we go Not empty. Definitely not empty. That's why it's empty. It's That's why it's empty. Lobster, it? Guess what? Everybody's going always on about. Always oh, on. Oh, always oh, on about yeah. doors. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> we get meat. Cracker. Yeah. Nice. And yeah, doors do make it easier and quicker, but it's also easier and quicker for thieves. Plus, we're out here, we enjoy what we're doing, so we're, not, we're in no sort of mad rush to get everything out of the pots as quick as possible. Not unless we've got to be somewhere or the weather's crap, but apart from that... Well, it's only rushing back for the tide, isn't it? That's the we've got a spider in that one. Let's hope we haven't got another octopus. Because we've had two octopuses now. Whether we've shown them or not, I don't know. We've shown one, I know that. But we did have another monster. Which we might show at some point. Put me down. Single heavy pot. It's almost here. And stop. Take that. Nice crab, but you don't need it. That's about your best one there. But we're going to let him go as well. Like I say, we're only taking the absolute biggest. We don't need them. We're getting enough without having to take them all. So put them back. A newspaper, they can do a bit of reading. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm reading quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, get the, right there, that's the perfect spot. Right down the top. Yeah. It sort of slopes away, but it's flattened here. Could be into some good lobster. There. Nice crab. Yeah. Uh, chuck them over. We're not going to keep any. Only if it's exceptionally big, we'll keep them now. 
I say we got more than enough we've had over the last well weeks really so I mean it's just flooded with them the bays and they've turned up around the other parts of the island as well now so they're everywhere so which is nice it means we get lots of crab to eat but you end up with so much what's that one like is he a bit of a monster that one no well, he is pretty big. Big crab, but... Yeah, but let it go. Yep. Only the best of the best we want now. Rebecca's bringing in a pollock. There's some down there. One was hitting my line as well, but I missed it. But I managed to get hold of hers. Not bad fish either. Yeah, nice fish. Prime quality. Oops. Teat. <laughs> yeah. Edit. <laughs> Just seen a whole load of dolphins. Might be able to see them. I'm going to kind of drift towards them. Wait for them to come to us as opposed to the other way around. How about that then? Look how many there are. Have you ever been that close to dolphins? Oh uh, yeah, in Florida though. Yeah, not take not wild ones though. Hello. Last set of the day. Quite quiet, really on pots and even on the fishing really but that's the way it goes sometimes yep it's over a bit of rocky area so you never know maybe the last pot sometimes it saves the day quite often it saves the day will it today I don't know but we're gonna find out we don't need saving but we did catch a nice big one earlier, so 
but it's always nice if we finish off with something on the last pot. It was all really about rebating. So. I mean, it's got crabs in it. Down here. What's in the pot? Crabs, by the looks of it. That's a lot of little crabs for this pot. Look at it, it's the nursery pot. Mm. Baby crabs. Take that out and you can have a look inside. Lots of small ones. But that's all you're going to get with these necks, only small necks. So. It's only designed for lobster, really. Here comes the next one. This one looks more interesting. That's a much more interesting yes, pot. more interesting. We've got two lobsters in that one. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? The last pot. Yep. But I think they might be too small. Oh, I, I'm going to call this one is over and this one's under here. I'm going to say you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's only because you have to. Well, I'd probably say the same, actually. I'm going to say that is over and that is under. So, it's so the same. Here's the underling. Underling, that's definitely going to be under. We don't even have no to measure that one. That. Under, she yep. goes, she goes. Whee, off it goes. And this one, one these great dolphins come up. this one, I shall give you this. I don't think you need it, but I will do it as procedure. Last part saves the day. There you go, inside. Nice, nice, oh, well. nice. <laughs> right. Right, let's get these baited back down. It's funny though, eh? quite often that last pot, whichever one you pull, it'll be the one. <laughs> <laughs> 